So this is my luggage slash backpacks I found at Ross. Aside from that one, I found a Burlington Coat Factory. And this one was actually my first one. They're all Highland Tactical ones. This one, I was like, oh, that's cool, you know, because I needed a backpack. So, for camping and stuff. So, this one, the same one was like $8, 10 $12 more. For some reason, this had a clearance sticker on there. There's nothing wrong with it. So, while the other ones are $38, $39, $40, this one was $32 for some reason. So, I don't really care about the color. So, ideally, they didn't have a black huge one at the time. So, I got this one because it was cheaper. It's like 10 bucks cheaper. Nothing wrong with it. That's for me. So, it's been getting used camping. And then I was like, okay, maybe I can find a black one. And none of these during the pandemic you can get. Everybody was scooping them all up. So I basically got my girlfriend the same one because she wanted one for camping and stuff too to put her stuff in. Because they're pretty decent quality. They're not amazing, but I mean, 29 bucks is just basically the same price I paid for this one. It's the same backpack, except this one has the extra pocket. And I don't know if you can see it, but... It's a little bit wider. It's a tiny bit bigger, so. Nonetheless, I got this one because it had it in stock. So that one might be like a bug out bag, or probably this one because it's bigger. And then this one I got just for taking to the beach. Because it's nice. It's thin. It's just a little string backpack. Put towels in there or whatever. So this is, I believe, you know, only 15 bucks. So that's cool to take to the beach. You can put all your phones and stuff in. It's got two, basically, in this pocket here, you can put stuff in, like a power bank, your phones, all that stuff, and then you just basically got this pocket in here, which I uh, don't, I think it's just one big pocket, yeah. Oh, wait, no, it has more pockets, okay. Pockets within pockets, okay, that's cool. And then this one, um, obviously you have your open air pocket, you get dirty socks or something you don't want smelling up, and you can put in there and let it air out. It's got a little had a pocket here. This one's soft, so like if I put my power banks and the cables, I'll put them here. And then you have a super, super big pocket when it folds out. So there's that pocket on the outside. You also have this one, aerated pocket. And I mean, you can put your laptop in here or whatever you want in here. Tons of room here, right? Huge, huge. But Wait, there's more. You have side pockets. These side pockets will fit that huge monster can with the cap. That's how big those are. So you got one of those on each side. And then you got plenty of hooks. So if you want to hook a flashlight or whatever. But this is big. You don't want to carry this around or hike with it. It's really huge, which is primarily the reason I got this one and this one because they're smaller. But this one, you know, I've used it a few times. Works great. And so, I was at Burlington Coat Factory, and I was like, it would be nice to have just, like, a black luggage. They didn't have black. Green's fine. It doesn't really matter. That way, I'm not putting this in my back. I can just put all my clothes in there. Something easy. So, I found this one. Green school, too. It's got a little green American flag. Um, it's called a Squad 1.0. So, and I'm literally going to Vegas in July, so this was perfect. So you get a little pocket. Uh, this one seems thinner quality than this one. That's for sure. Like the quality is definitely not as good, but nonetheless, I'm just going. If I use it once, it's great. This one's got a huge, huge pocket. Some maybe use for shoes or something. And then it's got one on this side, but I'm not sure if this one. Yeah, this one doesn't go in. So it's got two of those. It's got this one we open up. Yeah, it's pulling it through me on the inside. And then you got this open, which is fine for just a couple days of stuff, you know? That's plenty of room for me. A couple pair of pants, a couple shirts, a couple socks, a couple underwear. And there you go. And I have the strap too. It does come with the strap. So make sure if you buy these, you have to open it up and make sure it comes with the strap. And then you obviously got this nice little, pretty good sized pocket in the front in case you want to put your. Stuff you don't want going around your clothes, and it's thick too, which is nice. So if you have like a power bank, a little rubber feet on the bottom. I wish the bottom was at least the bottom was like it's quality like this. This part's thick like this, but the bottom and the rest of it's thin. So, but I think this is like 12, 24 bucks. So 
wasn't a horrible price. wasn't great, but wasn't horrible. But I just needed some simple luggage, something I could just throw clothes in. Because this one, you kind of have to like open it up and put them this way and this way and try and close it. And then you gotta wear on your back, and it's like it serves its purpose. But this is definitely smaller and more compact too. It's about the same size, but it's deeper. Like it's much easier to use. So. And I have never seen one of these at Ross or Burlington ever, so I scooped that one up. And there was only one, so all these bags serve their purpose. I'll be using this one. But these are great for just light camping trips, you know. A couple days I go somewhere, I can throw a couple shirts or whatever in here. And then this T-Mobile backpack I got for free when they actually got two because usually they give one out for T-Mobile Tuesday. And I was like, oh, my girlfriend really loves that. And she would like... But we can only get one. I was like, I was being super dramatic, and he's like, okay, here's two. So I use this if I'm going somewhere for bathroom stuff. That way it doesn't leak on like my nice backpack, you know? It could just, this cheap little one. So put your deodorant in there. Your, this is always a must to have here. Antiseptic spray. Um, apparently I have scissors in there. And, you know, you got antibiotic ointment, which. You always have to have some first aid and then petroleum. In case you get a burn or cut, protect it. And then you could literally fit tons of stuff. In there. Little ass backpack too. So you literally go camping and it's like, okay, you might need ibuprofen, you might need some anti medication, you might need some nasal spray, and I think they buy back pills. Okay, I have more back pills, that's cool because I always need back pills. This has been in my car since last time I went camping, so I just found it. And you always need baby wipes. And you always need washcloths. And these you can get at Ralph's. They're really huge. I'll even open one up to show you. They're about five bucks for a pack of 58, which is, you'd think, kind of expensive, but after using them, they work great. Aloe, vitamin E, they're strong. It kind of smells like lemon. They're really refreshing to use. They work great. So I literally bought, what, like three or four more up there, and I'm adding to my Lysol stack. I just bought like four more recently, and I bought two of those for my friend to clean his car, because he's like, he's like, oh, how do you clean carpet in your car? So I was like, oh, three bucks at Walmart, so I bought two. Add the fire extinguisher for safety. I just got these uh, gloves, too, at Walmart. They're really nice gloves. You get them in the automotive section, if you're wondering. But they haven't had them in a while. The last time I saw those was like three or four months ago. So now I have four packs of those. And nothing's new, just purifying the air. <clears throat> I'm going to do a video next and see how dirty the filters are because I usually have that on all night and during the day sometimes too. So, but back to this. Yeah. So these are great. And I thought Ralph's didn't have them for a while. And it turns out like you think this would be near the toilet paper and stuff like that. No, they moved it into a different section. And I even had like Instacart guy. I put these on there. And he's like, oh, they don't have them. So I was like, okay, they don't have them. It was worth a try. But literally, they've been in. So these have been in that backpack for months. And they're still wet and still moist. And I'll show you how big they are. This is why I buy these. Look at it. It's a huge, huge washcloth. Compared to a baby wipe, which is like that big. It's like more than twice as big as a baby wipe. It just smells really refreshing, too. And it works good. I have sensitive skin and... I went camping and used these to wind myself down, and it was nice. So basically what I do when I go camping is I get, like, those store bags. And it's for me and my girlfriend. I'll put one of these in there, and I'll put some wipes in there, and I'll put some toilet paper. And and maybe, like, one of these each or whatever if I need to. But And then I'll put in two separate bags by the tent. That way, if we have to get them to go to the bathroom at night in a hurry, or if you go to the bathroom and don't want to wake anybody up, the bags are ready to go by the tent. You just grab it and go everything you need. But yeah, these are great in case the power goes out, your plumbing doesn't work. Great prepping item. You can really take these in the shower, which I'm going to clean my face with these afterwards because, I mean, it's it's been in my thing for, for my, yeah, it's been in my car that long. They're still soaked. So, really good washcloths. If you go to Ralph's, pick these up.